coalition government has secured its first free trade deal with tariffs set to be removed from all exports to the United Arab Emirates. Two-way trade is currently worth $1.3 billion and as political editor Mikey Sherman reports, that could be just the start. A proud day at Parliament as the coalition government ticks off its first trade agreement while making history. Now, this is the fastest uh, we have ever negotiated a deal in New Zealand and it is one of the highest quality on entry into force. Negotiations with the UAE took just four months. This high quality trade agreement will provide New Zealand with duty free access for 98.5% of our exports to the UAE rising to 99% after three years. For the UAE, we will gain vital partner in our food security objective and will open the door for investment opportunity in tourism, logistics and agriculture. Agriculture, honey, dairy and other exporters today happy. In the last year there's been 700 million of dairy exports to the UAE, largely milk powders but also some cheese, butter and smaller volumes of other products. I think exports are going to go up further, they're already at a billion dollars a year which is no small change. And the trade deals could keep coming with an eye to expand to all six Arab states known as the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC. We work on both tracks and usually the minute that we conclude the bilateral it speeds up the GCC track. This is going to be a springboard for their efforts in the Indo-Pacific. The Gulf states are increasingly looking east. The UAE, however, is facing claims of migrant worker exploitation. Are there any assurances within this trade deal that acknowledges and protects the rights of workers? Labour has been uh, considered heavily throughout the negotiation and, uh, and we're only focusing on the highly talented people. We don't uh, uh, focus on the blue colours or the low skilled uh, labourers because the main intention of SIPAs and the free trade agreements to ensure that we bring productivities and ensure that we focus on the advanced technology. The key to today's deal? Not only has a friendship grown, but actually the agreement is in the best interest of the, interest of the people of both countries. The government setting itself a high bar. Mikey Sherman, One News.